Hey, Numeric here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. In this video, we will be going over tanking and what, what we've learned so far playing this role as a crewman, usually in the gunner's seat. Uh, we, tr we switch over to the spotter quite frequently when we're doing two-man, which I think most of this gameplay is in two-man because I keep forgetting to record when we're doing three-man. Um, some of the quick things to go over with, Two man is adequate for sure. We get we have several games of zero deaths and 50 plus kills. Um, but three man, uh, you're just on another level because you have someone that can constantly spot while you're moving, and someone can shoot while moving while the other one's spotting and one's driving. You know, just the more the merrier, really, in a tank. Three is what you want, but in this video, we'll show you why it's kind of a little, you know, iffy if you bring in a random and we'll go over some of the basics that we have learned together. The first, you know, point we're going to go over is support. It is perfectly fine to dump every single bullet, every single cannon round that you have, all of your bigger rounds, your AP, your HE, whatever you can, you just want to suppress the enemy, whether you're taking a point or like as the video behind you shows, we're trying to stop their counterattack after we took the point. Um, try to figure out where their OPs are coming, OPs and garrisons are from judging by where all the enemies are coming from and shooting that direction. I think we take out two OPs and a garrison in this and that totally halted their push to take this point. If you have to restock after every point, that is perfectly fine because you really want to just make sure you're supporting your crew because that's what you're doing. Your goal is not to be top kill and any of that. Most of the time you will, a lot of the time you will be, but your job is to support them so they can push to the next point and get you a victory. You also just want to keep the enemy busy. The 50 cal machine gun is great for adding pressure onto the enemy just by dumping it on them. Just holding it down and shooting him. And listen to your squad leader because he is going to put marks like right here. He put two marks on because that's what... Well, he put one in the commander put on. That's where they know they're spawning from. So we're going to try to take out their garrison here, which we do accomplish. Our next point will be communication. If you are spotting, shooting, or driving, you should be in constant communication with your squad. Saying, hey, there's people over here, there's people over there, and tagging it when you can. You can't tag as the gunner, um, but the other two you should be able to tag in. The, the whole point of communication is survival. So you're going to communicate, hey, there's a tuber on the left. So you need to know how to prioritize. Uh, Carl brought that to my attention when I told him I was making this video. You need to prioritize tanks, tubers, which are just anti-tank people, and then infantry, normal infantry. You need to take care of anything that can kill you first because if you're dead, your, your team is losing a big support. So keep in communication. If you're squad leader, they should always be in communication with other squad leaders and supporting them where they need help. You need to use the communication between them, find OPs and garrisons, which we talked about in support. And you just need to listen to your squad leader. If your squad leader says, hey, don't move the tank, don't move the tank. I'll give you a little clip here to explain or to <laughs> show you what happens when you don't listen to your squad leader. Ever see it? Yes, I did. Um I'm turning to the left. You just told me these troops were on our left. Oh, I see these. Don't, don't move. Oh. Don't move. Don't move. Stop. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> switched at a shield my mods. Why would he turn the whole tank? Shit. Too many troops at our left side. Do not move. To, uh, do not. Do fine. not. I do not go. move the tank. <laughs> I need to move the tank. Do not move the fucking tank. Some people will think he was being too harsh, and he wasn't. 
your officer squad leader told you not to do something, don't do it. They took the role you didn't, so listen to them. This is more of a side note than a point. You will get irritated sometimes. You'll have bad marks, you'll travel somewhere, you'll get stuck, something will happen. And here's, just make some fun, some, have a good time from it. Uh, don't get too stressed. Here's some good little super short clips about it. <laughs> I love getting stuck in the forest. I, I've always wanted a stuck in the forest simulator. <laughs> I've waited my whole life for this. There's somebody on us. I heard right. a Hell, please kill us. Please, <laughs> you got a satchel? You got a spare satchel, buddy? <laughs> Our final tip that I have for this video is just use the proper ammo. If you're going against a tank, make sure you have AP rounds. If you're just giving support against infantry or just suppression, use your 50 cal and your HE rounds. This way you get splash damage from the HE rounds and you'll blur their screen a little bit and just put a lot of pressure on the enemy with that 50 cal machine gun. That is a big help for your infantry that are pushing forward or defending. Okay, we'll end the video here. I do appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me today. I hope this uh, video kind of helped you out if you're trying to decide to tank or not. I will be doing several series called learning the role and we'll be going through each individual role throughout the game and with shorter clips last one i made it was just a full gameplay because it was one of our better games and we'd only have like maybe four in that role so hopefully this one helped out and uh probably our next video we'll do some breakdowns of our type of communication and our decision making as a tank crew and as always if you did like it, drop a like and subscribe. It helps me out, and we'll catch you in on the next one.